Hello and welcome back to These Blind Eyes 6580. Today I'm going to be talking about Apple's new iOS 9.0 upgrade to their products that sucks if you are visually impaired. I don't know about all the upgrades, I don't know if they benefit anybody else, but they have definitely screwed over the visually impaired. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, leave the shit alone. So basically, what did they do? They decided they're gonna add a bunch of new voices for you to download, and the biggest and baddest one, it's the Alex voice. It's 869 megabytes, and it sucks. The quality is horrible. I don't know if it's just on my phone or not. I got an iPhone 6 Plus, so I, I, I don't know if it's just on my phone, but it's horrible. I had to switch the voice back to the default Samantha voice, just so it'd be normal and be consistent. The Alex voice wasn't even consistent. It keeps getting worse and worse the longer it's reading. It, it, it's horrible. There's technically three places to change what voice. You go into your settings, general accessibilities, and then they have a speech button. Well, you try to change the voice there, nothing happens. You go into the voiceover command, and they have two places to change it in there. One of them's the default and the other is the rotary dial. So you can actually have, and that, that's so you can have two different voices set up. I'm not gonna get into that. You need to play with your phone if you wanna learn how to do that. But the only place to really change the voice for your regular function is in the default. All right, they've also changed the text sizes. So, I, I can see a little bit, and so I have the text size as large as it'll get, and it had nice big names in my favorites section on the phone. In the contact section, I could see the phone numbers, in the, in the then in the list of names, it was nice big names. Well, guess what? They eliminated that. Back in the favorite section, it's the regular text size now. I can't even see them. So without voiceover, I'm screwed. Uh, in the contact section, the list of names, it's a little bit bigger than the regular text size, but it's not even close to being big enough for me to see it. And it can't even come close to the phone numbers. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why would you change that? that that's just stupid, you know? It's, it's dumb to change that crap. I've had the voiceover just quit working two or three different times in use, and this is just since I downloaded it yesterday, you know? Um, if you are visually impaired and you're dependent upon voiceover, make sure Siri is enabled. Reason being, if you push and hold the home button to activate Siri, you can give her the command to either turn on or turn off voice command. Now, if it just quits working, you will need to turn it off before you turn it back on. But it makes it a lot nicer than trying to screw with your phone because if you can't see and you're dependent upon the voiceover you're obviously not going to get into your settings to do it so just keep that in mind when dealing with it apparently they have changed this upgrade has changed a bunch of the camera settings as far as taking video and stuff i mean and it's not for the better it's not for the better you used to be able to go in look at your videos trim the beginning and ends things like that you can't you can't even do that anymore it doesn't even tell you play when you hit the play button it says PL and like who knows what the hell it's saying it what happened to just say play you know they have fucked a lot of shit up with it and they better be coming out with some quick fixes you know I, I it, it was so bad yesterday I called Apple's disability help desk and sounded like I was talking to a freaking 12 year old who's put me on hold so he can go talk to the engineer. It's like, yeah, I'm sure they're allowing the CSRs to go have direct communications with the freaking engineers who make the upgrades in the phones. You know, I'm not an idiot. And then they want to reschedule or schedule a call back to see what he can come up with for me. It's this coming Thursday. It's a week later. It's a week after my phone call. I call uh, yesterday on Friday my callbacks for the next Thursday. Really? That, that's real good customer care there. If there was any other options that was easy for me, I'd be doing it, trust me. 
the thing is, the iPhones come equipped with everything you need if you're visually impaired. It comes with the voiceover on it. It used to be good. It used to be good. Their large text size used to be good. They just went and fucked with everything and screwed it up. So if you're one of my visually impaired friends, I strongly suggest like sharing this with people just so they know not to get it until some changes have been made, some, you know, improvements have been made to it, you know, some more upgrades. Because there's a lot of stuff with this that needs to be fixed just from what I'm seeing. If you can't see as well, this is really going to irritate the piss out of you until you figure out what's going on. When you get to the app switcher, I'm not sure who all knows, so I'll just tell what it is. If you have multiple things open on your phone, you can double tap your home button, and then you can do side swipes to go between, say, Facebook, your camera, your text messaging, your phone, things like that, and then double tap to enter that application. So it used to be set up to where the home screen was on the left, and then the next thing that you were using, or the one thing you were using, is dead center. Then the last thing you used after that is to the right, and so on, till the thing you've been using the least is all the way to the right. They completely flipped it around. Now the home is all the way to the right, and it goes left. So that's going to take you a little bit to get used to, because every iPhone I've had, iPhone 4s and 5s, every single one, it's been set up left to right, and now they have completely flipped it around and it's going from right to left. So from everything I have seen from these upgrades, they were completely pointless, they were completely worthless, and if you're visually impaired, it does nothing but freaking screw you over. And I'm sure you can tell I'm not exactly the happiest with it, so I'm just waiting for that little freaking punk to get out of school this coming Thursday and give me a call. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let them know everything I've been finding out since. I originally, I just called about the voices. Because it's like, these voices are crap, you know. So, I've discovered a lot more since then. So, uh, like I said, I hope you share the video so people know. And hopefully they won't download the crap. Because it's, it's not good. It's worthless. Um, if you have any questions directly for me or... If there's anything that you know that I don't know, hey, please email me and let me know. Uh, my email is littlemb6580 at gmail.com. That's L-I-T-T-L-E, M as in Mike, B as in Bravo, 6580 at gmail.com. Like I said, if you have questions, I'll do my best to answer them. I may not know the answer to it, but I'll see if I can figure it out, you know, or find out. If you have any information I didn't bring up here, let me know. You know, because if I have to make another video after my phone call this Thursday, then, then I will to explain everything that gets done about this situation. So uh, until next time.